My name is John. What's your name? Is the shadow man here? I don't believe in ghosts. Did you just turn the light on? Well, I'm getting it on camera. I'm staring directly at it. Good evening, my name is Lawrence, and welcome to this episode of Skeptics. Tonight, we are at Penhurst Asylum here in Spring City, Pennsylvania. This location has a reputation of being one of the most haunted paranormal hotspots on the entire East Coast. Spanning over 1,400 acres, construction started in 1903, and it would be five years before it would be completed. Opened as a state school, turned into a state nightmare for those who called this place home. A real hell on earth for those that were forced to stay here. One of the most notorious figures here at Penhurst is Dr. Fear, who's known for experimenting on patients with no regard for human life. In the 1960s, a reporter did a mini-series here on Penhurst Asylum to show the atrocities that happened behind closed doors. However, it wouldn't finally close its doors until 1987. It has remained empty ever since. Tonight, we challenge a skeptic to reach out to the alleged spirits here at Penhurst Asylum. We've invited John, a non-believer of the paranormal, to investigate alone and to participate in a series of challenges that will test his beliefs and maybe change his mind about the existence of the unknown on tonight's episode of Skeptics. My name is John, and I'm a skeptic. Hi John, and welcome to this episode of Skeptics. I have to ask, is it true that you are a skeptic and you do not believe in the paranormal? That's true. You've never had any experiences to sway one way or the other? No, I have not. Well, tonight you're at Penhurst Asylum. Legend has it that it has a reputation of being one of the most haunted locations on the entire East Coast. Tonight we're going to try and have you do a few challenges and see if we can change your mind. Are you excited and ready to do this? I am. Well, there you have it. Let's get the night started. Sounds good. Thank you for joining. All right, John. So for this challenge, we're going to have you go to the basement of the Mayflower building. Uh, here's an EMF meter. You know how to use this? Uh, yes. All right. It should just detect uh, in millimeters. Okay. M millimeters, something like Milli -goss. that. Milligoss. Okay. Um, what we're gonna have you do is walk around the entire basement, um, walking me when you get there, and then we'll give you further instructions. Okay. All right. All right. Get this one. Good luck. I'm gonna walk you as soon as I get down there. Oh, you can walk around a bit. All right. Explore, be vocal. Okay. Nothing yet. Hey, can you hear me? Loud and clear. All right, is there anywhere specific where you want me to go?
a lot of, bunch of garbage down here. Did you guys leave anything down here? There's like random like bowls and stuff. The basement is where many people heard and felt unexplained events. You'll see a room where they had church services. And where a tour guide recently heard the spirit box say, demon and Bible. There's also a room with a piece of wood hanging in the air. This wood has frequently moved by itself and it started swinging. There is no wind in the basement as you know. We want you to explore each area and see if you hear or feel anything. Be vocal, ask questions. Let the spirits know you're there and that you're a skeptic. Walk us if anything happens. Good luck. Is there anybody here? Hello? Can you show me a sign if there's somebody in here? Check out this room in here. Hello? Don't see any, hear anything yet. It's quieter down here than I thought it would be. I thought there'd be water dripping or something. Just saw a flash of light. Just saw a flash of light. Hey, do any of the X cams down here uh, flash lights every so often? The LED lights uh, don't flash. You infrared lights stay consistent. Okay, I thought I saw, I thought I saw a flash come from behind one of the uh, cameras in one of the rooms. I thought maybe it was giving off some sort of infrared signal or something. Oh yeah, it's totally, there's a little flashing light on the back of the camera when it's recording. It's like a little tiny blue light. It's very faint. What color? It's like, there's a red one that's constant that's not, I can't see that on the wall, but I'm looking at it. And there's a, like a, like a purplish, bluish, it's barely anything, but I just, I could see it from a distance. Yep, I'm in the uh, church now. I think I think I see the pews. Hello. Is there anyone down here? This room is pretty empty. Another larger room. Hello. That's creepy. Fucking spider. Hello?
I think I've been in every room so far. Um, I've seen a couple sets of stairs. I don't know where you want me to go next. Head back to the church room and take a seat in one of the pews. You got it. I'm on my way there. All right, I'm there. Ask if you if there's any presence with you, and what that presence is. See if you can get a response, like a demon. Is there any presence here with me? And if there is, just like tell me your name. My name's John. I didn't get any response yet. Will do. See if anything wants to come out and play. <laughs> Does anybody want to come out and play? No? I'll be your friend. Nobody wants to come out and play at this moment. Do another sweep of the entire basement, starting with the long hallway of the room. Yep, okay, I got it. Did you just turn the light on? Go again. Did you just turn the light on? Yo. Yo, why aren't you answering me? No, we didn't turn any lights on. We're outside. Okay, well there's a light down here that, it, that was just flickering and it just turned on and then it turned back off. We didn't, we didn't do that, we're outside, but... Well, I'm getting it on camera. I fucking hope so. I'm staring directly at it. There's also bats flying around down here now. The back country. Yeah, I hadn't seen any until right now. I'm just still staring at this light. It hasn't turned back on. Oh, there it goes. It's flickering. The EMF meter going off at all? Negative. Are you afraid of the dark? Uh, not, not necessarily. I mean, you know, like, I guess as uncomfortable as any normal person will be walking around in the dark by themselves. Um, I pretty much, I've gone back through the basement again. I just, I stopped on that light on my way back out into the hallway, so I don't know what you want me to do now. Did you go into the room with the, uh, the hanging rope? Looks like a swing. I did, uh, the, the little like, the little stick attached to it, I, I actually videoed that for a minute. Room and hang out, see if anything wants to play over there. Okay. Does anybody want to play in here?
there's anybody in here, you can move that stick. Oh, checkers. That's a negative in that room. I don't know if it matters, but that light is now staying on. That's creepy. Hey, why don't you head on up? Roger that. I'm on my way. Well, John, how was that experience? Uh, it, was, it wasn't too bad, I'm not gonna lie, the light flickering kind of freaked me out at first, but then I kind of attributed it to a faulty wiring, I think, but I mean, I mean. Do you think it was, or do you think it was something more? I don't know, because I wasn't using like a voltmeter or anything near it, so I can't really, it just kind of like Whoa. caught me off guard. Did that go off? No. Not at all. Anywhere downstairs? No. Any other activity other than the light happening? No, um, I was, I filmed on that, that stick that was swinging. I was trying to get something to move that. Um, there's like a rope that's hanging down. Was it like, moving or no? No, it didn't. Oh. But I held it on there for a while just to make sure. Did um, you ask anything to move it? Yeah, and I asked like in the few, in all the rooms if someone would come out and talk to me or if they wanted to play. Uh, and then I was sitting in the pew there. It was uh, a lot quieter than I thought it would be actually. It was like... That that alone was a little bit a little bit creepy. But it's like it was, deafening. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Well, uh, are you willing to continue the night? And yeah. Okay. Definitely. Let's do it. All right. Okay, John. So for this challenge, we're going to send you up to the attic, the third floor. Reports pe people have reported uh, seeing shadow figures, hearing children. Um, playing up there. What we want you to do is uh, investigate every single room thoroughly and uh, walk us when you're done. There's gonna be two hallways. Be sure to go down both, okay? You down for that? Yeah. Right. right this way, buddy. Okie dokie. Good luck. Thank you. All the way up top. Yeah. Be sure to be vocal and let us know how you're feeling. Will do. Oh.
you want me to go down both hallways and then go to each of the rooms individually, or do you want me to go down the first hallway, stop at the phasma box? In the hallways. Okay. First hallway is done, now I'm gonna go down the second hallway. All right, I walked down the second hallway. Uh, would you like me to stay here, or what would you like me to do? Hello? Go, feel free to sit there and ask questions and see if you get any sort of reply. Okay, will do. I'm gonna set up this camera, go pointing down this hallway. Is there anybody here? Is there anybody here? Is there anybody here? Hello, is there anyone here that would like to talk? My name is John. What's your name? Hello? Hello? Nothing's going on on this device. It has a couple words on it that have been here since I got here. It says stuff and forever. But I thought I heard a, a noise down the hall, so I'm just kind of like hanging out waiting to see if I hear anything else. Hello. We could be friends. Still just have the two same words on the box here, stuff and forever. Two head towards the fast box and ask questions over there. See if you get anything. Okay, I will.
Is there anybody here with me? I'd like to have a conversation with you. My name is John. What's your name? Is there a doctor here? Did you say yes, there is a doctor here? I'm just trying to say hi. I haven't been able to make anything specifically like word like out of the phasma box. Is there anything specific you want me to ask it? Personal questions about yourself and who you would see if you get a response. Okay. What is my mother's name? What is my brother's name? What is my favorite color? What am I afraid of? Is there someone here now? If there is someone here, could you just please tell me your name? I'm pretty sure the Phasma box just said F U to me. I know why. Are you mad at me? I didn't do anything. Why'd you swear at me? I'd like to be your friend. Try to reach out and make contact to the Shadow Man. Is the Shadow Man here? Hello? 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 Yeah, the box got loud for a minute and spiked for a second, but no, no words yet. Hang in there, champ. Oh yeah, man, yeah, I'm not gonna leave until you tell me to. Can you tell me what month I was born? You say July? Are you friendly? Alright, why don't you head back out there then? We'll try another challenge out. Alright, I'm gonna head your way. So how was the attic? Uh, creepy, but I uh, didn't see or hear anything. Nothing? Nothing at all? No. You mentioned a sound. Uh, I, heard a, I heard a banging or like a so sound like something, but I, I, I can't be quite sure. It sounded like it actually came from outside. Like, out, like I heard it out of an open window, like in, in one of the rooms. When I was peeking in one of the rooms, I heard like a thudding noise, but it, didn't, it wasn't on that floor. Did you think you would have heard it from outside? I don't know, maybe not. If it could have been a floor below, I guess, also. Oh. It could have been like on well, a different floor. No one was in the building. We're right. all outside. Yeah, no, I, I, I don't know what it was. So it was pretty, it was pretty completely quiet except for the phasma box.
Okay. So. So you can't explain that noise. No. But it wasn't the phasma box, though. Good. I know that. So it could have been something else. It could have, definitely. So are you still a skeptic? I mean, I definitely heard a noise. I didn't see anything. I didn't feel anything touch me or anything. Um, but I can't explain the noise. So, I mean. So you're on the fence still, but now you're leaning more towards uh, yeah, believing. Yeah, definitely, definitely some creepy stuff going on. That's okay. for sure. There's like a weird, like creepy vibe going on. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I mean? I don't yeah. know, like a. Like an old abandoned asylum? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Exactly. Well, are you uh, ready to continue on to the next challenge? Yeah. All right. Okay, John, so for this challenge, we're going to send you into the tunnels uh, underneath the Philadelphia building, okay? Walk us when you get there. All right. It's going to be right this way and down the stairs. down here okay John while you're down there people have claimed that they knock on the door down there grab the direct link hold it in your hands and see if you can communicate with the alleged spirits down in the Philadelphia tunnels is there anybody here you should see a sheet of paper next to the tea light right next to you Pick that up, read it. While you're asking the questions, hold the direct link right in your hand. Be vocal about any response that you do get. Is there anyone down here with me? Can you give me a sign that you're here? What is your name? How old am I? What is my last name? I don't believe in ghosts. Can you prove me wrong? I give you permission to touch me. What happened down here? Can you make a noise or knock on one of these doors, please? Where am I right now? Do you want me to leave? What year was I born? Are you upset that we're here? Do you want me to leave? What is my mother's maiden name? Can you tell me your name? Is there anyone here? Do you need a friend? Do you need an enemy? Are you afraid? Uh, I asked it some more questions after I finished the ones on the paper. I, I still got nothing. Do you want me to just chill down here for a few minutes? The direct link has a turn knob. Go ahead and turn that all the way off and sit in silence. Try to communicate with anything down there. Try to knock on the door and see if you get any type of response. So while John was in the basement of the Philadelphia building in the tunnels, we heard what seems to be a, a latch or a door closing inside the building. This is an abandoned building. There's nothing inside. Sorry about all the noise. Can we talk now? I'm just gonna sit in silence for a few minutes and see if I hear anything. So while John was waiting patiently in the tunnels, we heard something 
happened inside there, like a, a latch or a door closing, we're not really sure. Uh, freaked us out a little bit, but uh, John says he doesn't hear anything or he hasn't caught anything, so we're gonna radio him back and get him back up here. What is your name? John, why don't you go ahead and uh, get out. We're gonna pull you, okay? Yep, I'm on my way. Would you have been able to stay in this challenge in the Philadelphia tunnels? Let us know in the comments below what you thought of this location. Nothing down there? Nope. That was the most quiet place so far. Okay. Well, I guess there's not much to say about that, huh? No. I guess we'll move on to the next challenge? All right. Okay. Okay, John, time for another tunnel. This tunnel's a bit longer than the last one, okay? Um, what has been reported in this tunnel is uh, shadow figures, people being scratched, touched, hearing disembodied voices, uh, people shuffling their feet, and even uh, when you walk through, you're gonna see a couple corridors go off to the right and left with the windows punched out. People have been known to stick their hands through those windows and get a tug. So walk to the end of the hall with your obelisk and see if you can find, see any shadows or pick up anything paranormal. Okay. Um, walking me when you get to the end, okay? All right. All right, take your time, be vocal. Okay. Right through that door, good luck. All right, thank you. While John was in this tunnel, we, uh, we heard some loud crashing. And he says he didn't hear it, but uh, me and some other crew members definitely heard it. All right, I think I'm at the end of the hallway. There's a closed door. Yep, I'm on the other side of that. I'm at that door. Okay, hang tight in there. We'll walk to you. Okay. The obelisk hasn't said anything? It hasn't said anything since I've been down here yet. Ask some questions and wait for responses. Okay. Um, I don't think so, but the water dripping down here is extremely loud at some parts, so I didn't I don't think I heard anything. I don't remember hearing a bang. No, it was a loud crash. Are you sure you didn't hear it? 
No, I, I was probably just too focused on trying to see, honestly. I, I, but I, didn't, I don't remember hearing a bang. Who's Jack? Are Jack's ashes in the basement? Little press what? One. Logic. Used. What's your name? Can you tell me who you are? What's my name? Are you upset that I'm here? Do you want me to leave? Can you show me a sign that you're here? Any sign? I don't believe in ghosts. I want to though. Can you show me? Seller, what do you want me to pray for? It said pray and seller. It just said pray and seller. Do you feel anything? I don't feel anything. It just it just said that out of, uh, while I was asking it questions. What? Thank you. I asked it. I said, "Are we safe here?" And then it said, "Pray." Seller. What do you think that means? I'm trying to figure out. I'm trying to ask it more questions. Keep me updated. Does Jack need to pray in the cellar? Did Jack pray in the cellar? How's it going in there, John? Uh, good. I haven't heard anything else. Why don't you uh, mosey on out, but uh, walk slowly and see if you can... Uh, Find those corridors where the windows are punched out. See if you can get anything with that. Maybe you take your hand in there. Maybe you get tugged. Who knows? All right, I'll make my way back there. Take the camera in there. Be sure to walk slow. Take your time. There's no rush here. Oh, yeah, I'm not in a rush. I got nowhere to be. Hello, anyone down here? You tell me why I have to pray in the cellar. There he is. Here I am. Welcome back. So, tell me about your experience. Uh, I st uh, it said pray and sell. Did it just say something else? Yeah, it said poem. Are you, are you a poet? It said cool poem drop. I'm not very much of a poet. Clearly. When I was down there, I was asking it questions, and I said, are we safe here? And it said pray and seller. And then it just didn't say anything after that. I also stuck my hand in those windows. Uh, did you get touched, Grab? I didn't, I, but I was like, kind of hesitant to do it a little bit, but I, but no. Um, and then I forgot that that little guy was out there at the end, so I kind of, I thought there was someone standing there. Oh, that yeah. little guy. That's, was, he was there when we got. Yeah, there. yeah, so I when forgot. We got the tour. He, he was there. <laughs> um, but nothing really, huh? Well, I mean, other than the prey and cellar, but no, nothing after that, no. No. And you didn't feel any um, coldness, or it didn't make you feel any type of way? No. Unholy. See? I think it's time for our next location. What do you think? All right, sounds good. Okay, John. So for this challenge, we're in the basement of the Devon building. We're going to send you into the candy man room. But the catch is I'm going to blindfold you. Um, this is a room where demons like to uh, portray themselves as little children. Mm. We're going to see if you can reach out to the alleged demons here in the Candyland room. Okay. You ready for that? Mm -hmm. Let's blindfold them. Is that right. good? Yeah, that's fine. Oh, okay. All right. Just don't want to step in a puddle or anything. Nope, you're gonna walk straight. <clears throat> I, I think so, I think that's the whole point. I got you. Yeah, you can peek. Just
Just let's see. All right, this way. You're directly behind me, so. Okay. Yep. You can grab my back if you want. Right. There you go. Sticking my hand out. I will go to the side then. There is going to be a puddle up here, but it's very, it's, it's not very big. Alright. Careful, there's a demon to the left. Okay. <laughs> We're going right. Alright. I gotcha. Oh yeah. That's good, my favorite thing. Oh yeah. We're going into the Candyland room. Going through a doorway now, okay? Okay. Okay, keep going straight. No, it's a big open room. You got, there's nothing in front of you. Okay. Nothing. Okay. Sorry. Come here. You're fine. Reach behind. Yeah, go ahead and sit. All right. Sit there in silence. Listen to the fans box. Feel free to ask any questions. Okay. See if you can get any responses, okay? All right. I'll walk you when uh, I feel like it's time. Okay. Good luck. Rolling, keep rolling, keep rolling. <laughs> Would you have been able to be locked in that room here at the Devon Building, the Candyland room? Let us know in the comments below. So we just put John in the Candyland room. This is a, a known room for demon activity. And it's the witching hour, 3 a.m. Hopefully he gets something we can change his mind about being a skeptic. We haven't had much luck thus far. What was that? Somebody there? What's your name? Christian? Are you friendly? What's my name? What was that? I couldn't hear that. Are you friendly? Can we be friends? Did you just say my name? Do you want us to leave? I said, do you want us to leave? What are you doing here?
What are you trying to say? Can't understand you. Yes, you are what? Are you friendly? I could take a nap right now if it wasn't for that box. It's peaceful down here. I was just standing here in this doorway and I felt something scratch the back of my neck. Is it red at all? Something got me. Is it red? Or am I talking to crickets? It's red. No, it's red. Fuck. Yeah. Something got me. There you have it. I've been attacked by a demon. I gotta go. So far, nothing. Are you afraid? Is that why you won't talk to us? There's nothing happening, I just really don't like having a blindfold on. Is it the door directly in front of me? Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm on my way. Over this way. I'm coming. Sorry. You can uh, put your glasses back on so you can uh, see. I think somebody's holding them for me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, I guess you're screwed. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, buddy. Nothing, uh, nothing at all, huh? Um, no, uh, I just found out that I don't really don't like blindfolds. <laughs> right, you can't see it. It, uh, it was definitely you of a lot. Senses. Like, yeah, it was a lot. It was a lot different than all the other challenges so far because I couldn't see anything. Before I had that little camera. Right. But having nothing there, like really, uh, I was just trying to focus in on the sounds. There was a, there was a couple times I thought I heard something, but it's just really hard to make out a, 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 a word. Any uneasy feelings or anything like that? I, I, yes, but like, like partially just because I couldn't see anything and then the, and the, the noises are going off there and they're echoing in the, and I can hear all the water dripping, but I don't know where I am. So, but it was definitely, yeah, I mean, I don't know, bad vibes, maybe. Bad vibes? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yeah. Well, okay, John. So you started out as a skeptic and a non believer of the paranormal and tonight we have brought you to Penhurst Asylum, uh, one of the most notoriously haunted locations. Um, through the duration of your evening uh, you felt a little uneasy but yet you're still you know a hardcore skeptic would you say? I mean I wouldn't say hardcore I would doubt like just given how anxious I felt during some of the situations and like the vibe I got. I mean, I was definitely clearly deep down afraid of the possibility of something being there. So I think that I'm slightly less of a skeptic than I originally thought I was. Was there any uh, in particular challenge that uh, pushed you more towards that way or, or maybe not? Um, maybe in a couple different ways. I would say that the first challenge actually with the basement was probably overall the kind of like creepiest but the deprivation of having the blindfold on was probably the thing that had me freaking out the most so taking away one of your senses yeah, had yeah. you uh, really on it yeah because before when i had the ca only the camera my my sight was you know minuscule but once it was taken away completely it was just completely you know, just caught off guard kind of 
Is there anything that you would uh, say that you've experienced tonight that you couldn't personally explain away? Um, there was definitely a couple noises that I heard uh, deep in a building and and uh, actually the basement when I was first in there there was a light that flickered on and off several times and then now it's just on but it was off when I went down there originally so I'm not not, not really sure how to explain that nothing in the tunnels though um, no just uh, just the, the ambient water noise and down there but I didn't I didn't hear any like banging or anything in the tunnels okay. reach my hands through the window didn't get pulled on unfortunately yeah unfortunately well I have <laughs> to ask after your experiences here at Penhurst are you still a skeptic I would have to say that I'm more on the fence than I was but uh, I don't know I guess I maybe I'd say I'd, I'm still a skeptic just because it I didn't get like physically touched but I'm not, I'm definitely not discounting my experience though. There were some unexplainable things that happened for sure, so. Well, thank you for joining us on tonight's episode of Skeptics. Uh, we really me. appreciate it. I really appreciate it too, thank you. Thank you. Well, there you have it folks. Tonight we were able to take a skeptic and open his mind just a little bit with the challenges here at Penhurst Asylum. Would you have been able to complete the challenges alone here? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you can see future episodes. Thanks for watching. Until next time, sleep tight, America.